Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this video we're going to go step by step how to use Feedly. So by the end of this video you're going to stand in what the pricing is of Feedly and how to use it. And if you do want to use with Feedly there is a link in the description below to get you started. So this is the interface for Feedly. If we scroll down you can see what the actual interface shows which is a quite white, very bright white. It's also been used by 50 million teams. You can find and organize the right feeds Train Fiddly to AI, uh, train Fiddly AI to filter out noises and share intel with your team. And it's all organized within one page. And these are how Fiddly AI works, these are some of the reviews and so on and so forth. So if you do want to get started, we press the get started button. Then we'll log in with our email address, first name, last name and password. Or you can also use your Google account, which might be a bit easier. Choose the account that you want to pick in with your Gmail, and it's going to automatically log into your Fiddly. Once connected to your Fiddly, it's going to ask you for your first name and last name. Then you press the Get Started button. Then pick in the Personal News Reader or the Intelligent Platform. The Intelligent Platform, of course, is might see what your main use case is. So we're going to go with Threat Intelligence. You're going to put in your company name, your company website, and your job title. So we've just put in a little bit of details, it doesn't necessarily have to be true, but just a little bit so you can get off this little step. Press finish. And there it is. And this is the interface of Fe uh, Feedly. You've got websites, Twitter, Reddit, and newsletters. Then if we go into the today, you've got all of the insights you need to keep ahead. You can start to add articles if you want to see a little bit of what your news feed looks like. So you've got different industries like automotive, biopharma, cybersecurity, and so on. If you want to create a new board, type in the new board, the description, if you want a public or board, and then press create. For the Feedly AI, then you have the switch between themes, so you can make it system, light, or dark. Then you've got the new features, so what has Feedly added into the website and into the interface to make it more easable, and also it's got a little bit of new features that it's starting to add and starting to, you know, kind of use. And if you're not 100% sure how to use Feedly, there is a frequently asked questions and learning get support as well. If you do want to create a folder, you can press the create folder button and type in the title of your folder. That's creating your new folder. And then you can track topics, follow websites and so on and so forth. So to track topics, you can see companies such as Amazon. We can add in and we can, if you wanted to upgrade to follow, you can press the upgrade to follow. We've just got three different pricing. You've got the enterprise, which is a quest to feed trial, pro plus and a pro. And whatever it is, it will give you a lot of more advanced skills the more expensive it is. So this is a little bit of an insight of how Feedly is, the pricing, and what it is to, for you to be helped your business. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.